Hey everyone, it's Buzz here, and today I'm super excited to finally be bringing you my Falcon and the Winter Soldier finale set. This project has been in the works for the past two weeks, so I'm very excited to finally be bringing it to you. Before we get started, I'd just like to mention that a whopping 84% of you aren't subscribed, so if you do enjoy today's video or just like what I do here, please consider doing so. Anyways, that's enough delays, let's get on to the set. So this is 75980, Flag Smasher Final Battle. It includes 5 minifigs and 488 pieces. If it were real, it would retail for about $50. Now, onto what you've been waiting for, the minifigs. First up, we have Captain America himself. I was so excited to finally make Sam in his cap suit. Anyways, he has dual molded arms and legs and a face print similar to Frozone from the Disney series 2 CMF. He has metallic printing all around his body and I think it really elevates the minifig. And here's Cap with the wings. I decided to reuse the 2016 wing mold as I thought it still fit. And that's a wrap on Cap. Here's a full look at him. Now, let's get on to the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. I was so excited to redesign my version from March, as I just thought it really didn't work. Anyways, this version is very much improved, using a new hairpiece and an entire different colour for the arm. I also feel like I got Sebastian Stan's likeness down. What do you think? And here's the version from March. I really think I didn't do it well. But anyways, I'm super excited to revisit the Winter Soldier and give it a second crack. Which version do you prefer? Tell me in the comments below. Now, onto the second cap of the show, John Walker. Walker is played perfectly by the great Wyatt Russell, and I'm super excited to give this minifig a second crack. He features the new cowl piece I designed for the 2012 cap minifig, I decided to use some brighter reds throughout the suit. Overall, I think this is a great improvement over my other version. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Now, let's move on to the antagonists of the set. And here's Carly Morgenthau. Carly is probably one of the most controversial MCU villains. We know a lot of people don't like her character, but personally, I think she was okay. Anyways, there's not really much going on with this minifig. It's pretty basic. Anyways, let's just move on to the more popular villain, Batroc. Personally, I don't think Batroc was great in the finale, but overall, he was a good inclusion. This minifig comes with dual molded legs and an alien conquest pistol. Batroc also comes with a pretty smug face. And that's a wrap on the minifigs. My personal favourites have to be Cap Sam and John Walker. Who are your favourites? Tell me in the comments below. L, onto the builds. First up, we have a helicopter. This is so Sam has something to fight in the set. It has a quad stud shooter stuck to the front of it and I think that adds a lot to the playability of the set. There's no real minifig design for this part of the set, so I just stuck Batroc in the pilot seat. If you're a LEGO Marvel Super Heroes fan, this helicopter might be familiar. I won't tell you though. Now, well, onto the GRC truck and Bucky's motorcycle. I also decided to add some blockades and some cones, just to add a little bit more value to the set. The GRC truck is a really cool build, and I'd love to have it in real life. Wait, maybe you can. Never mind. Now, onto the scaffolding. I was really inspired by this rebrickable mock I found, so I'll have its link in the description. The scaffolding is a perfect place for Carly and John to fight, and overall, I think it's a great little diorama to have. There's also a spot for Batroc to stand at the top. And here's the full build of the set. I think it came out pretty well for what I was going for. My favourite build is definitely the helicopter versus Sam. I just think it's so iconic. Finally, here's the box art. I think this is my best box art to date, and I think it's mainly because of the artwork behind it. What are your thoughts on this set? Please tell me below and I'll be happy to respond. And that's a wrap on today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It pushes the video in the algorithm and it also means more LEGO fans get to see it. If you like this video, you might like what's coming up, as I'm working on more of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier project. 
like this one. Here's just a little teaser. Anyways, you'll see that on Monday. Finally, I'm super excited to finally be working with CMF edits again. If you can guess what this is, please leave it in the comments below. I'll leave it up to you. Anyways, consider checking out some of the videos linked at the end. And I'll leave it there. Have a good day, night or evening, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.